Have you ever wondered how companies build software? First, there's a development team. They design applications and write code to specify a product's actions. Then quality assurance engineers review code to make sure the application works as intended. Then there's an IT operations team. It consists of release engineers and database, server, or network administrators. They set up the network, push code into a product server, take care of security, and monitor performance. These people make the product available to the end users, and it must work well. But not always. The software that developers have handed off to IT operations may not work on their side. This conflict between devs and ops is known as the wall of confusion, and it's common in organizations that follow traditional ways of development. Engineers modify a product to bring value to users, while operations ensure the product is reliable and stable. The two teams work separately, with different goals and understandings of what is good and what is bad. Devs toss software release over the wall to operations for deployment, and once a problem happens, both teams struggle to define why it happened. Then I heard DevOps, now I'm a believer. I heard DevOps, no doubt in my mind. To prevent such frustrating situations, the software development community has shaped the strategy called DevOps. What is DevOps? DevOps stands for Development and Operations. It's a methodology and philosophy that companies adopt to deliver and improve solutions as quickly as possible. The role of DevOps is tearing down the wall of confusion between development and IT operations teams. So all people working on a system are working together. What's more, developers are responsible for how their code works in production. The saying, you built it, you run it, explains the philosophy of DevOps. Its author, Amazon CTO Werner Vogels, said that giving developers operational responsibilities has greatly improved the quality of the Amazon services, both from a customer and a technology point of view. The methodology became a game changer in the software engineering world. And there are several reasons why DevOps is needed. Users want it all and want it now. So, businesses must quickly bring new services to the market. High-speed innovation means the team must write and test code quickly and release new features to production even several times a day, not once every three months. So, changing code and taking those changes to production becomes the whole team's mission. The observation known as Conway's Law states that how we organize teams affects the software they build, including its architecture. Should we reorganize how people work? Should we make sure that high-quality code is deployed fast and make Conway's law work in our favor? Yes. So what do DevOps teams look like? DevOps-oriented companies may consist of small, cross-functional teams working independently on a certain system, its part, or service. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos created his definition of a small team. It's a team that can be fed with two pizzas. The main idea here is to merge all the skills and duties into a single service team including engineering, quality assurance, security, and operations. A DevOps team may consist of operations specialists and software engineers that also test the code. For instance, there are no dedicated QA teams at Facebook. Its engineers do unit tests for the code they have just written and check it with automated testing tools. Besides, developers may also review their peers' code and submit fixes or defect reports. In some companies, for example, GitHub, Etsy, and Google, operations teams are organized by functions. These teams may focus on high-priority tasks, like new feature deployment or fixing a Severity 1 bug on production. The attitude makes sense, too, as team members work towards a common goal, stable, secure, and reliable software. Anyway, a team in DevOps organizations supports the full software development lifecycle, from writing code to maintaining the product after release. A typical workflow of a DevOps team is called continuous delivery. The team members complete prioritized tasks from a current short iteration, a sprint. Software engineers commit code in small chunks several times a day. Quality assurance engineers test newly committed code with automation tools like Water, Selenium, UFT, and others. If the tool finds any bugs, code with bugs is sent back to developers for fixes. Team members monitor changes made to the code with version control systems to detect integration problems in advance. The code that passes automated tests is integrated into a shared repository on a server. The code is released to QAs or a small percentage of users for testing. 
If the team finds no issues, it deploys the code on a public server. Fingers crossed, as they say. Of course, hoping that changes won't affect the system's stability is not enough, so the team monitors how it's working, gathers feedback from users and colleagues, and writes new code considering the detected flaws. Once developers commit a new piece of code, the activities repeat. Never-ending code development, automated testing, integration, and deployment is what continuous delivery looks like. Continuous delivery and automation are one of the key practices that allow DevOps-oriented companies to speed up product releases. If embarking on DevOps means changing the way people work, someone might lead these changes. Companies may hire DevOps engineers to optimize team workflow and drive a cultural change. The specialist usually manages and automates the continuous delivery cycle and writes scripts for continuous integration and delivery pipelines. The DevOps engineer may also write specifications and documentation for the server-side features and monitor system performance. Some in the software development community think that DevOps engineer doesn't exist as a job title. That doesn't prevent DevOps engineers from being on demand in the IT labor market. There is a notion that the person in charge of DevOps is either an operation engineer who can code or a developer with experience in system administration. How effective DevOps is? The thing is, DevOps isn't a tool that you can buy and start using right away. There's no distinct before and after. Besides process changes and tools, DevOps means changing team mindsets. Accelerate State of DevOps Report is an annual research of companies that follow this path. They're measured against four key productive metrics, lead time for changes, deployment frequency, mean time to restore service, and change fail rate, the percentage of changes leading to degraded service and that later must be fixed. The highest performing organizations deploy code 208 times more frequently than low performers and go from committed to successfully deployed code 106 times faster. These companies also achieve 2,604 times faster recovery from incidents and have seven times lower change failure rate than low performing companies. So maybe it's time to understand where your company lands on this spectrum. By the way, do you employ DevOps? Tell us in the comments below how you keep the balance between software innovation and stability.